do you think Jimmy Garoppolo should start this week if he's less than 100%? And I think it's pretty clear he's less than 100%. I don't know what he is. But is an 80% Jimmy Garoppolo the best option the Niners have this week? And I ask you real quick, a real quick uh, context. Steve Young came out this week on KNBR and said he would actually go with Nick Mullins and give him a short hook. Uh, so that's what Steve Young says. What do you say, Jack? I'm going to go back to what I said leading into the Giants game, which was that if Mullins can play, that he's the guy that needs to get in there and play. I know, you know, I, Mullins is a good quarterback. He, he does well. He's a backup, though. Garoppolo gives them the best chance to win, without, with, even with his faults. So if he's at 80%, you got to go with him. If he thinks he can play, you've got to let him play. I don't think it's a situation where you say, you know what, no, we're going to go somewhere else if he's asking to go. Yeah. Got it. Leo. Yeah. So is this question, should Jimmy play, if he, or is it who should start between Beathard and, and Mullins? Well, I, should Jimmy play if he's less than 100%? And if the answer is yes, why? He should absolutely play. Uh, look what just happened with the team on Sunday night. Um, Beathard, yeah, he played against a prevent defense. It wasn't too difficult what he did. And then that with Mullins, the guy has a higher interception percentage than Jimmy Garoppolo. There's only two games out of his 10 starts where he didn't turn over the ball. And in a lot of those starts, it was two interceptions. And then his last start in 2018 was three interceptions against the Rams. So he has that constant turning over the football more than Jimmy has. And that's the knock on Jimmy. So even if Jimmy's 80%, he has to go, especially with the offensive line struggling. He has a, a quick release much more than Mullins does. Mullins seems to, ah, uh, what happened on this play? My, my guy's not there. Defense is in my face. I'm, I don't know what to do. Rather than Jimmy, he has that quick twitch when he releases the ball. And we've seen him time from time last season get smacked in the face and get a completed pass. I'm in agreement. I think Jimmy, as long as he's healthy enough where he can avoid pressure a little bit, I know the ankle is a tricky thing and be able to step around in the pocket and move. That will be the defining factor if he can play to keep himself healthy. healthy. But if Garoppolo can't go, I, I would personally go – C.J. Beathard, just because I think he adds a different element. Just He's a little more athletic, able to escape pressure than Mullins. And I think the 49ers should just run the ball the whole time anyways. And I think Beathard, with the read option, would add a little tiny more element than Mullins would in this game. Yeah, if Garoppolo wants to play, you have to play him. You can't, you can't have Garoppolo come to the coach and say, I want to play, and Kyle say, no, we're going to sit you one more week, and then lose, and then have Garoppolo be like, what was that? I was here. What was now? We, now the season's over. You want me to come back now? So yeah, you have to play him. But I think at the same time, you can't just assume that he's going to look great. You can't just assume that he's going to be even good enough to protect himself. It's a it's an offensive line that's struggling, and he's got two bad wheels. So what I think is you start him, but you activate all three quarterbacks. I think you would because you have to be prepared for the outcome that he's not ready to play and or that he gets hurt again. That he's behind a bad offensive line, can't move that well, takes another hit and gets hurt. And then you got C.J. Beathard, who's going to lose, and Nick Mullins, who may be having a nervous breakdown. Not a nervous breakdown, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, he's coming off a terrible loss. C.J. Beathard has only won once in his life. Um, start Jimmy Garoppolo, but have two guys waiting in the bullpen instead of one, just in case, unless that doesn't make any sense. It would I mean you can have more active this year, so why not? 